Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. So we're looking at world champions. And now we're going to look at the world WBA minimum weight champion of the world, Hecky Butler, also known as the Hexecutioner. Here, this is his most recent fight versus Jesus Silvestre. Now, Hecky Butler won this fight, but he's both the IBO and WBA uh, minimum weight champion of the world at present. Um, what can I say about him? He's an uh, inside fighter, but he can also fight a little bit on the outside. Um, but he's mostly about inside fighting. As you can see, he uses left hooks. He's kind of like the Mexican style, but not really. He also uh, jabs and, and utilizes the jab. He has basically good uh, boxing technique. He uses the bottom and wheel style, as you can see there. Uh, Jesus Silvestre is a traditional sort of Mexican fighter, but he uses his jab to get in. And then again, the usual hooks and stuff uses the high guard to get in as well. So Hecky Buckler is kind of like that style of fighting, more inside fighting. As you can see, both of them are, are kind of jostling for position on the inside. So that's basically Hecky, Hecky Buckler's game plan. He's an orthodox fighter, and as you can see, uh, Jesus Silvestre. Uh, you can't really see right now. He's also an orthodox fighter. As you can see, they use that hammer punch, kind of like what uh, Gennady Golovkin uses. It's just a Mexican sort of style of fighting, a lot of hooks involved, all right? a lot of bending and, and fighting like that. So there's the inside fighting right there. Okay? All right, let's move on here. So Hecky Buckler. Well, Hecky Buckler has lost one match out of his 29, and he has nine KOs, so he's not really a knockout artist, but he does a lot of hard work on the inside. And like I said, he won both titles, the WBA minimum, work, uh, minimum weight title and the IBO minimum weight title. And he has defended them a number of times. He won the uh, vacant WBA world minimum weight title from Carlos Diaz. And he won the IBO vacant IBO minimum weight title uh, against Michael Landero. Okay? Both were unanimous decisions. Uh, no, actually, no. The second one, the WBA title, which was against Carlo, Carlos Vila, Carlos Diaz. Yes, not the first round. Um, his style is a busy style. There's a lot of activity. There's a lot of punches thrown. Uh, his defense can be penetrated, so you can get your shots in. Um, pretty decent fighter from South Africa. Um, somebody you should pay attention to, but in this division, the guy who really runs that division is one hand many often. And uh, one hand many often is really, I'm really kind of impressed with him, as well as Katsunari Takayama. So um, I don't know if he'll ever pit himself against these guys to unify some more belts. We'll see. But at present, he has never really been a lineal champion, so I don't really know if he will or will not. All right, here's a, a jokey, um, it's a jokey, um, side note. Uh, the interim champion is Knockout CP Freshmont. This guy, is, that's his literal name <laughs> from Thailand. So uh, he's undefeated, <laughs> has 10 fights, and the fight by knockout. So that should be <laughs> something that you, you, you gives you a little chuckle, okay? Uh, we know uh, many often has a style something like the orthodox version of Manny Pacquiao and we know Katsunari, Takayama, he's got that sharp shooting style so you know but we'd love to see these guys mix it up in the minimum weight division we'll see in time if that happens alright well that's it for now guys um that's the end of our series world champions I thank you for watching um I did not include the IBF I'll put one more video and I'll just show the IBF champions. In fact, let me just incorporate that right now into this video. So in this video, uh, the IBF champion right now at minimum weight is Katsunari Takayama. Okay. Um, the WBO champion, they say it's vacant, so either he probably moved up or something, I don't know. In the junior flyweight division, also not like flyweight, Dani Nietzsche was the WBO, WBC of Pedro Guevara, Raichi Taguchi, 
we have Javier Mendoza. So you guys will have to go to your home and go find out who that guy is. Javier Mendoza. He's from Mexico. I don't know what his fighting style looks like, but he has 23 wins, 2 losses, 1 by knockout, and or 1 draw, and 19 knockouts. So he's, 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 you know, he, he's got pretty powerful, a lot of power punches, at least so far, the opposition he's facing. In the IBF, I'm not Roin, um, Roin Rock, Roin Rock, Rank, Roin Rank. Um, I'm not Roin Rank, he just fought uh, that Chinese gold medalist who's named Zhu Shiming. He just fought him and beat him. And the interesting thing about Amnet Ro um, Royan Rung or Royan Rang is that, um, I, I can't pronounce his name, you gotta forgive me, is that he's undefeated so far in the pros. Okay? So that's 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 really interesting. His style's interesting as well, I must admit. It's a little bit rough housing, but his style's interesting. Um, he's got really good reach. Uh, he's in the division with Roman Gonzalez, Juan Francisco Estrada, who is currently the unified champion in that division. In the super flyweight division, there's somebody called Zolani Tit. I don't know much about that guy. He's from South Africa. He's also apparently, uh, he has 20 wins, uh, 3 losses, I think that's saying. And he has 17 wins by knockout, so he has decent power. Now, all any news in that division, Carlos Quadras, Kohai Kono. Um, in the bantamweight division, we're looking at Randy Cabarello, and he comes from the United States of America. I don't know too much about him. I've heard that name before, though, so I have to go and check that out. Randy Cabarello. Uh, Tomoki Kamida is there, Shinsuke Yamanaka, and Juan Carlos Payano. Okay. In the super bantamweight division, Leo Santa Cruz is WBC, Guillermo Rigondeaux is WBA, Carl Frampton is IBF. You know, I'd really love to see one of those guys step up and fight Guillermo, but I know they may have to build it up. In the meantime, Guillermo's only getting better, so. Uh, in the featherweight division, we got Ev uh, Iveni Gradovic. Now, Iveni Gradovic, I don't know too much about him. Um, he's from Russia, but I'm going to check him out and find out a little bit more about him. Uh, but, of course, the guys in this division are just pure killers. Johnny Gonzalez, he knocks out everybody. Uh, Nicholas Walters knocks out everybody. You know what I mean? Those are two killers right there. Lomachenko, he just came into the division, so he he can box, but I don't know if he can knock anybody out. That's another story, you know? And Iveni Gradovic, he doesn't seem to knock out a lot of people so far. So he's like a boxer like Vasily. Uh, in the super featherweight, we're looking at nobody in the IBF. In the lightweight, we're looking at Mickey Bay. He beat I say beaten versus comers, uh, Miguel Vasquez. But there are killers in this division. Jorge Linares, uh, Terence Crawford has left, so somebody has to fill that spot. And there's Richard Abril. But Jorge Linares is the hardest hitter in that division. Uh, in the super lightweight division, we're looking at Lamont Peterson. He's going to be fighting Danny Garcia, but I think those two guys are going to be cake very soon. So there's a lot of spaces there. Terence Crawford is probably looking to get the WBO space or Thomas DeLorme. In the welterweight division, we're looking at Kel Brook. In the super welterweight division, we're looking at Cornelius Bunridge. Nobody in the middleweight division so far. Um, we'll find out soon enough when that gets filled. In the super middleweight, same thing. I think um, Andre Durrell is supposed to fight um, DeGale. So that spot will be filled very soon. In the light heavyweight, Sergey Kovalov. In the cruiserweight, it's Johan Pablo Hernandez from Cuba. I think I mentioned him already. And of course, Vladimir Klitschko is in the heavyweight division. So, suffice it to say that um, these, these are the IBF champions you need to look at. Remember, it's very difficult to become world champion. I know I've been talking for a good period of time, but I do hope you guys will go investigate these guys. This is the last video of the championship series. You guys have a great day.